thank you very much. I say salam alaikum to everybody watching. Uh, the purpose of my visit was to introduce my organization, the Washington West African Center, to His Excellency the President. Um, part of uh, my trip to the Gambia include to create some outreach materials about uh, domestic violence, a week, the working families tax credit, some of what um, my organization is working on, but partly to also meet West African presidents. I um, have requested to have meetings with different presidents, uh, West African presidents, including His Excellency President Adam Abaro. And uh, yesterday I received a um, message from the protocol that my um, request was granted. And during our meeting, we talked about uh, different things, areas that um, his government can partner with my organization, the Washington West African Center. And also last year, I received two awards. This one here is the African Achievement Award. I was named the Best African Nonprofit Executive of the Year 2022 2023 um, by the African Achievement Award. Um, and then the University of Washington, um, Evans School of Public Policy. Um, gave me the Community Catalyst Award. So as a Gambian, I think these are great achievements um, in the United States. If I am in the country, it only pays dividend and it's right that I meet with His Excellency and present these things to him um, so that he can know that um, we are, even though we are far, we are in the United States, but we are still contributing our quarter to um, putting the um, image of the Gambia in a positive way. Um, in the United States. It was a great feeling. We had a great discussion and he recognized the work that we are doing in terms of promoting our culture and tradition in terms of, I mean, uh, preserving the culture, our religion, and putting the image of the Gambia in a positive way. He asked me several questions, which I responded to. Um, not only did we talk about the Washington West African Center, but also Gambian Talents Promotion, that I am also the founder and executive director, I mean, and global coordinator of. We talk about that and the um, training opportunity that we are providing for young people of this country. And he is very happy that we are doing that, gave several examples of even himself and how he was supported by some people who gave him an opportunity and eventually how he ended up um, giving back to those people and how the youth constitute 65, over 65% 65 of this country's population. And if no intervention is made, there could be ramifications and consequences. I mean, um, he is aware of that and is doing everything possible from what he said. In fact, he has a foundation or, I mean, a charity which 80% of the funds is used to support people to pay for their education and investing a lot into education. So, I mean, he um, has assured us of his government's support, I mean, in terms of, I mean, continuing this education and empowerment and training that we are providing for the young people of this country. <laughs> well, as a Gambian, I try my best over the years to give back to this country by all means, especially this program that we have for the young people of the country. Um, meeting the president is a great privilege and opportunity because he's the number one citizen of the country and introducing him to the programs we are doing and asking for his government support as we are complementing their efforts is something that I am very proud of. And the president offering, I mean, to support and stand by us as we complement their efforts is very fulfilling and encouraging. Um, as you said, we've knocked on several doors in this country, but there's a lot of goodwill among Gambians because they have seen our consistency, our persistency, and our persistence and all the things that we are doing for the young people of this country. The youth themselves have taken ownership and responsibility of this program. I mean, Niti Doing Dof, Gambians have seen the work, um, and the president himself has recognized it. And this is something that we are appreciative of. So we are hopeful that, I mean, the follow ups will happen, and hopefully, some of the, I mean, challenges that we have. I mean, through partnership with the government and other um, parastatals, entities, non-governmental organizations, this program can go a long way because it is genuinely of great benefit to the young people of this country. And we think through partnership and collaboration, 
I mean, there is hope and um, genuine future for this country. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I did not even know, to be honest. I just sat one day for this one. I sat one day and I received an email that, I mean, a board that has been selected. I mean, it's called the African Achievement Award. It's a big award that I, uh, um, uh, in Washington state that um, recognizes the work of the different Africans in there. In fact, the founder of it is a Zambian, David Chukwa. I knew him from a distance, never had any interaction with him. He was the one that reached out to me to say their board has selected my organization, the Washington West African Center, as the African nonprofit of the year. And myself, by default, I am awarded the African nonprofit executive director of the year, which was a great feeling. This one, I did nothing. I just sat, and a young lady, of course, that attends the University of Washington contacted me and said, I have nominated you for a Community Catalyst Award. Can I have your bio? I asked her a few questions. I gave her my bio. I forgot about this. Sometimes in the summer of last year, I took the kids to Whitby Island, which is a very famous island in Washington State. We crossed the ferry to take them because we wanted to take the kids to have experience riding a ferry. A lot of their parents come from here. They knew ferries. We ride the ferry every single time. The kids they didn't have that opportunity, a good number of them. I was in Whitby Island when I she called me multiple times, didn't get hold of me, and called one of my staff and said, Congratulations. When they gave me the phone, she started yelling, Congratulations. I said, For what? We got it. Got what? Well, the award. The Evans School of Public Policy is one of the biggest public policy institutions in the United States. And I received this award together with three other people. One of them is the former governor of Washington State, um, Dan Evans, who the school is even named after. The second person is the superintendent of the Seattle School District, like the minister of education. The third person is a former judge who has ruled cases in favor of the black folks and BIPOC communities in Washington State. And fortunately, Aipa Usman Juf, the young African and West African from the Gambia, was the fourth person who got this award. It was done at a colorful ceremony at the City Hall in downtown Seattle, in the heart of Seattle, and was attended by so many people. This is how it came about. I didn't lobby for it. I didn't know. I didn't do anything extraordinary. Just doing me and serving my people is all I did to earn it, and I am very grateful for them. Wawak is a one-stop shop or home for the West African community that provides cultural relevant wraparound services from food, I mean, um, groceries, helping them to pay bills and rent, helping them to um, stay connected with their culture, language translation, transportation. I mean, um, the after-school program for the kids, the program we are doing for the grandmas. Basically, connecting them with resources. If they need anything, they come to us. And if we don't have it, we make a concerted effort to go find it. Thank you.